Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I will be showing you a few of my stationery favorite items for the month of May because I gathered a few things that I really liked so I thought it would be a good opportunity to share them with you and um, yeah let me know if you have any of these items and if you do like them or if you're interested and maybe will um, purchase them in the future just let me know and let me know in the comments what were your favorite stationery items for the month of May um, I do not know if this is a series that I will be doing each month because I'm not always like getting new things but I thought maybe it could just be like um, just rediscovering things that I already have and maybe that I will use for that month and see if uh, I really like them or we'll see we'll see how it goes but I thought because I got a few items this month um, well the last month that I would share them with you so um, the first item I got uh, which I didn't get in May got it I got it a bit before but I thought but I really used it uh, in the month of May was this Giglio Apunto A6 um, uh, planner cover and this I I filmed a video a review on this cover that will be coming out in the next few days but I basically got this uh, because I won uh, a coupon code for from Jillio to spend on one of their items and if you follow me you know that I have a few Jillio covers already and I basically only use the Apunto model um, because I use bound books and this A6 size was the only one missing in my collection and uh, I wanted to try it out because I do use the A6 uh, Stylogy already and um, I was like why not just use a cover for it the only covers that I used to have was um, those Hobonichi covers or just a clear cover on it so what I did enjoy was um, trying out the A6 size as an everyday carry because I currently use the Hobonichi Weeks which is a this one I mean I, I do have two of them but um, yeah I always use this as my everyday carry and if you realize it's I got it in the same color this is a crockle eye gray because I this is my favorite color from Julio so I got it in the same color and uh, yeah I really enjoyed uh, using this because I didn't have much going on so the A6 size was really enough to have with me on the go and I would use one uh, page per day I used the bullet journal system so yeah it's it's really nice I really enjoyed having this I will keep it in my collection and um, we'll see I, I will rotate it between the weeks and the a6 size and decide which one i do prefer for as an everyday carry uh, planner but if you have the hobonichi a6 or any type of other a6 size planner uh the muji the midori cafe note a6 um it will fit it's supposed to fit in this uh, planner cover um, it comes with one through three, four uh, card slots and then a bottom pocket here, a uh, facing uh, pocket here, one slip pocket for you can put in the front of the cover here. I just use one side, but basically another cover, um, slip pocket here, secretarial pocket, a uh, zipped um, pocket, and a pen loop and a giant big back pocket that goes all the way down so this is really nice to have if you have papers uh, receipts to store them there um, it's nice and I've seen people using these planners as wallets too because of the card slots so you could put your credit cards debit cards and personal information and use it as a planner and as a wallet 
I tried that with a pocket Finsbury from Filofax uh, a few years ago, but um, that doesn't work for me. I, I like to keep my wallet and my planner separate. So um, I know I cannot work this, uh, make this combination work, but if that's something you're interested in doing, maybe you check that out. I know there are tons of videos here on YouTube uh, showing that. Um, the next item is these uh, page flags um, that I got and so the the planner does come with bookmarks but I rarely use them as I usually use like these post flags um, and these ones are from Avery and I love them because they're like full of glitters and it comes in a pack of four. I do like this size um, for like top tabs that I do not often refer to. Like my top tabs are um, the main ones that I use are the bottom tabs. Like I'm constantly just um, using those. Uh, side tabs, it's the A6 planner is quite narrow, so you could definitely use side tabs, but I think that especially if you put a pen here, that it will uh, interfere with your tabs. So I think for the A6 size, like bottom tabs and top tabs are the best way to go. So I um, just wanted to show you these ones because I found that um, they're really, really nice. The other thing that I got was a glass dip pen and this really changed the game when it comes to swatching inks so I'm really really happy I got it because yeah it's definitely uh, way easier when I swatch inks uh, nowadays and I finally started like an ink journal um, because of this because I have this and it's a uh, it's way easier to do that um, talking about inks one of my favorites of this ma month is uh, Jacques Herbin Lit de Thé and this is a uh, kind of a brown brownish ink um, it actually it it means tea leaves and it really does look like tea leaves um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I didn't think, I knew I liked it, seeing reviews of it and um, how, how it performed, but I didn't think that I would liked it that much. And I have it inked here in one of my pens and let me, let me show it to you. So I have it inked up in a Twisby mini diamond. Um, this is a, now this is a medium nib and just let me take a blank page here and show you how it performs. So this is Jacques Herbin Lit de Thé. This is in a medium nib, and you could see, you can see a bit of um, shading here. But I've had it. I wrote with it for the month of May. This whole month of May in a broad nib, and it was really really nice. Like it it's nice in a medium nib, but in the, in a broad nib is a whole different different game and I just love it. This is my favorite ink uh, at the moment. Uh, let me know if you've tried this and if you do enjoy it too. And the last item that is part of my favorites for the month of May is this pen roll. Oh my god, this rickshaw pen roll is... Um, 
the best thing really I love it I have a review that will be coming out in uh, the next few days on this Panero um, so if you're interested subscribe to my channel so you do not miss that video but wow I'm amazed this is the first item that I have from rickshaw and um, they're a company based in San Francisco everything is handmade there the quality is amazing and they have a ton of options when it comes to storage for your fountain pens I was looking for an alternative to leather cases and this is it really um, the plush here material is nice I have six slots for my fountain pens and it rolls up really nicely and this fabric this is a special fabric that I saw on uh, their Instagram page but um, if you're interested just send them an, uh, a message and ask them if it's still available because let me show you the back of this it's it's absolutely gorgeous I love it so um yeah uh, check out my video my review that I will be doing on this because it's uh, this this has been my favorite item really I've been carrying it everywhere with me and uh, I'll be it definitely not be my last item from rickshaw I'll be looking into a pen sleeve I think uh, soon just so that um, I do not on a regular basis carry this amount of pen I would only use like uh, three or four pens so I'm looking for like a, a pen sleeve that is um, that only comes for three or four pens so I would definitely be ordering that in the near future because um, if you do not know them uh, I highly recommend them I'll leave the, the website uh, down below so yeah there you have it like a few of my favorites for the month and um, let me know what you've been using and what is your favorite and if you've enjoyed this video please consider subscribing and i'll see you in my next one thank you guys bye